Hi guys. Several weeks ago, we brought home some beef. Um, we've been raising beef for about 10 years now, and we sell quite a bit of it as quarters and halves for other families. And so we brought home um, what was equivalent to about a quarter of beef. So I'm going to show you how we do some meal prep with that. Uh, we get a lot of ours fresh. So normally when you pick up your freezer beef, it'll be frozen. But you can always ask the processor when they're going to get it ready, and you can pick it up that day if you want to, so it'll be fresh. And that way you avoid having to thaw the meat and then do your freezer cooking and then um, refreeze the meat. So I'm going to show you how we do ours. I'm going to include links to all of the recipes down in the description. Hey guys, so the first thing that I'm making is um, meatballs. I'm using the recipe from my blog that I started long, long ago and have neglected. So if you didn't know it, I used to be a blogger. Um, and I will link you guys to that recipe. It's really basic. It's some eggs. And it's so nice to have orange eggs again from our own chickens. Um, <clears throat> I use oats instead of breadcrumbs because I don't want to waste time grinding up the bread. So I'm using oats instead of breadcrumbs, parsley, there's some garlic powder, uh, salt, pepper, onion powder. I do onion powder instead of onions and no one has complained so it's a lot easier. And then I used my kitchen scale to weigh it out. So the recipe is for four pounds. I doubled it to make eight pounds. I'm going to do eight pounds of meatballs and then I will flash freeze them and then we'll have those for spaghetti and meatball subs. And then <clears throat> I have all this burger left. I'll, I'll probably brown some of this and then make the rest into hamburger patties. And then I have all my roasts still. I'll be working on those. Okay, so I made all the meatballs. I did use the mixer. I added milk. That was what I hadn't added when I showed you last time. And then I got all of these meatballs. And then all of these meatballs. I just checked them with a knife and made sure. The lighting's a little bit weird, but they're not pink inside. Um, so I'm going to stop there, and then when I serve them, I'll always heat them through again. And so if they're not quite done, they'll be done then. And then I've been working on roasts, so I'm going to split up the roast. I'll do half as a French dip where we will shred it and make sandwiches. And then I'm going to do half with a rosemary roast recipe that we like. And we'll just eat it that way with a side of potatoes or something. So these are my three French dips so far. I'll have to go tonight and get more supplies. I didn't really stock up on ingredients to do this. I just figured I'd see what I had and then run out tonight for what I need. So these are the roasts. We're doing the French dip sandwiches. We have eight of them and we just did in about five minutes. The hardest part is the garlic and so Brian's doing that for me. He's so strong and helpful. <laughs> and then um, Kent is doing the burgers. Now we're getting a little bit big there, bud. But he's doing awesome, making all the burger patties up for us, aren't you? Mm -hmm. While he watches the show on the Kindle. So. Spirit Riding Free is the name of it. Oh, Spirit Riding Free? Yep. Okay, and it's not quite 10 o'clock, so this is what we do for fun on Friday nights, right? Yep. <laughs> well, we didn't have a lot of fun going to the fish fry at the fire department. That rhymes! Fish fry fire department. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it does. Fish fry fire department. <laughs> what? It doesn't rhyme at all. Yes, it does! Shh. <sighs> Some of us work harder than others. Yes, that's right. Some of us just walk around with cameras. <laughs> well, I was talking about the dog, but yeah. Okay, these are my five rosemary roasts. Um, those are almost done. I have the French dips over here. And then he made all of these patties. So there's a layer under there too, under both of these. 
and I don't blame mom for what she does. Like, um, uh, it's not just all work. I have my Kindle Fire. It helps a lot. I would probably not be very happy because it just work, work, work if I didn't. But, like, mom has uh, the voice. A few other shows, I think, that she really likes. So she just takes the iPad and puts that up on the counter, like when she's cooking. Then, and it helps. Awesome job, buddy. That was like, how many pounds? 15 pounds of burgers? I think we did 15 pounds of burgers. So we're going to freeze those for grilling this summer. Alright, say goodnight. Good night. That's 66 hamburger patties. So I've got my jerky meat that's been soaking in the marinade. Now I'm taking it and putting it on the food dehydrator trays. I've already got some done right here. You can kind of see what it looks like when it's done. So I've got two bags done. I've got this is about half new and half almost done. Same thing here. I've got a few trays that are almost done. So I'm putting more on it. So we have been making jerky all week. I'm going to show you the last batch. Um, it's mostly gone in the top because we've been eating off of it. But here's some. The parts with all the fat are the... The, that flank and brisket that I had them slice up for me, I didn't take the time to go back and trim the fat off. If that's going to be off-putting to you, you could do that, but um, I just peel the fat off when we pull that when we pull that piece out of the bag. But the rest of it isn't like that. Um, it was just that that part of that meat. So here's an example of what it looks like when it's done. And it's super yummy. So I put this in quart freezer bags and then I put it in the freezer just so we can have it for as many months as we want to. It also kind of keeps it out of sight, out of mind because if it's out, we will eat it all within a week. Hey, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. As always, you can find me as Married to the Farm on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a good day, guys.